question asked by philosophers for hundreds and hundreds of years. What do we eat? <laughs> I don't know what we eat. Um, oh my goodness, I'm actually doing a video, aren't I? Oh, right, okay. Um, I'll just stop this for a wee minute. Hi everyone, welcome to this video, Some Frontier video. Um, my name is Jay Wakefield. And I was just sat here watching uh, a video of uh, Billy Kors, a.k.a. Road Geek, um, about what he reckons was, um, a, well, he thought at the start it was a Dell Latitude CPI. But it turns out, you know, we actually uh, did some sleuthing um, about the machine and we found out that it's actually only a CP. Um, and I got to thinking, I mean, I've I've tried the, you know, I've... I, Love the Latitude CP series. You know, I've I've uh, tried the CPI, the CPI A, the CP X H J, and of course the CPT, which my friend Jonathan had in school, which was, well, basically to all intents and purposes, an amazing laptop. Um, but I've never had a go with a CP, and I would love to have a go with one. If you know, if if the opportunity ever arose. You know, I'd like I'd like to think that I'd be able to have a go with one. Oh wait a minute. Talking of which, this is a Dell Latitude CP. What a nice coinky dink! Right, so um, here we are. So this is a Latitude CP. It's uh, quite similar to the CPI, um, except for, if we have a look underneath, whoops, without actually bashing the thing, thing to death, we find that um, the model number, um, if I can actually find it, it is a PPL, so I don't know why it shares the well, I can, I can understand, I guess, why it does share the same chassis code as um, the Dell Latitude CPI, because basically it's, it's pretty much the same machine. Um, but this is an M233ST. I wonder what the M stands for. I believe it could stand for MMX. Because this machine... Well, the Dell Latitude CPI is a Pentium 2, and you could get it in 233, 266, and 300 MHz flavours. This is actually a Pentium 1 MMX. Now, there are some subtle differences. For example, the hinge assembly on the case is flat, whereas on the CPI it's actually curved. Um... <clears throat> there is also, I'll, I'll show you the parts, there's um, the usual fan on the back, an RS232, no, an IEEE 1284 part, which actually, on this model, seems to sit slightly more flush with the case. Obviously, there's uh, kind of gaps around here, but all in all, I think, I think the parts tend to sit a wee bit more flush, uh, whereas they're actually out you know, they actually protrude from the case on the CPI. You have a single USB port, which, like on the CPI, is mounted horizontally. The later, uh, like the CPX and the CPT, they have the USB port mounted vertically. Um, and then, if I have a wee look underneath this door, we actually find the docking station port, also sat quite flush. And now I can't actually get the door closed unless I kind of lift the laptop up. So I'll uh, close that because we don't need that. Uh, my docking station's for a C610, which might not be uh, the best thing for this machine. Right, um, although it is more of a part replicator. We have um, an RS232 serial port, VGA out. And the usual PS2 mouse and keyboard port. Just like on the CPI, we have the two PC cards type 2 or one type 3 slots. 
and there's a hard disk compartment. Now, this was sold to me with a 40 gig drive in it, which is madness, as my CPI only has a 4 gig drive. There's a Kensington lock slot, and then there's a left speaker. Now, if I swing it round to the front, what we have is the battery. I don't know what charge it holds. It, uh, I tried powering it on yesterday on the battery without plugging it in, and it was... Uh, I didn't seem to power it on. Then we have um, CD-ROM drive, although I do have a floppy drive for it. And then on the other side, what we have is um, head, uh, microphone, headphone and line in. Power, uh, the power core, uh, DCN, and I believe that's an air vent. So that is what the CPI looks like on the outside. Now, if you just bear with me, I'm gonna get what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some power to it. I'm gonna plug it in. Okay. So, like I said, just like the CPI, the power cord actually uh, plugs in at the side uh, rather than at the back, which is where it plugs in on the CPT and the CPX. Um. Now, differences between this and the CPI, right, the CPI has got a screen, it's got a larger screen, this has got a smaller screen, it's got quite a wide, wide bezel. It's not stupidly wide like it is on the Dell Latitude XP4, but it's, it kind of looks smart, you know, it kind of reminds me of laptops of old, so, do you know what, I'll let it pass. Um, yeah, I quite like it. I have seen CPs like this, and CPIs, but uh, just never, in, not really in person. It does make it look quite a lot older though, I will say that. Um, as promised, it is a Pentium MMX, or at least that's what the sticker says. And it says it's designed for Windows NT and Windows 95. Now, one thing that is strange about this machine, apart from the gargantuan hard disk drive, is the fact that it actually came with its own power cord. I mean, yes, most laptops do come with their own power cord when, when they actually are bought new, but a lot of them don't when they come from eBay. Um, so, let's, let's have a look at it. Let's, let's actually take a wee look at this machine. Well, the, that, the charging light was on. Alright, we've actually got some power. Uh, invalid con current configuration. Well, I'm guessing the CMOS battery's dead. Let's have a look in the CMOS. Yep, as promised, it's a 40 gig hard drive. Diskette drive A is not installed, neither is diskette drive B. Modular bay is the CD-ROM. Uh, diskette reconfig anytime. Docking Ethernet, docking IRQ. Uh, we're going to have, yeah, it's boot speed 233 MHz. You can stick it down to compatible. Um, Pairing it down usually lets older programs run. However, Billy Carr was having trouble getting Jazz Jackrabbit. I think it was Jazz Jackrabbit to run on the CP. So I said that once I took delivery of mine, I'd have a go at it because it ran absolutely fine on the CPI. The battery looks like it's wanting to take a charge. Do you know what? I think I'm going to set the time. So, the time is currently 10.30. Hang on, is it? Is it not? What an odd thing to happen. I can't seem to set the time. Never mind. What we'll do, we'll put it in. Okay. Now, that I didn't expect. Um, the ad said... The ad said it came with Windows 95. Oh well.
Oh, dearie, dearie me. So, it came with the wrong operating system, and the speakers are shot. Never mind. Um, and it's VGA. It, well, the, the, the graphics drivers are not installed. Um, this looks like it's a brand new install of Windows 98 Second Edition. A uh, brand new laptop install of Microsoft Windows 98 Second Edition. 32 megs of RAM. Do you know what? That's fine. For a machine of this age, wouldn't have expected anything else. Seems to have detected everything else. Um, but I am guessing it's a Neo Magic chipset. That's what it was on Billy's CP, I do believe. So, the Dell Lassitude CP then. Do you know what? While I'm here, I'm going to do the Canyon test. Oh, the keyboard is nice. Okay. So, there is a slight problem. Oh no, I've sorted it. The keyboard just needs a good clean with a can of compressed air, because there was something underneath that key stopping it from going down. But, um, seems that I've done it now. See? Windows. Unless it's... Oh yeah, it's a laptop install, isn't it? This, uh, no, the escape key feels a bit soft, but again, I think, you know, I think it just could do with a... Uh, we better tend to loving care. But anyway, um, that is um, that is the Dell Latitude CPI uh, M233ST. I hope you have enjoyed this video. What I'm going to do is um, it's got a 40 gig drive in it, you know. So I might have some fun with the operating system choices. I'm going to put Windows 95 on it. That is a given. Um, and it's gonna have um, it's gonna have Office ninety seven on it as well, because I generally don't do that with my Windows ninety five installs. I always generally tend to settle for Office ninety five, um, but I might you know dual or multi boot it. I mean I quite like OS two, but unfortunately you kind of need the floppy drive and the CD drive. But then again, I do have um, I do have a parallel port caddy for a Dell Latitude, so it might work. Anyway, um, this has been a Video Some Frontier video. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe. Um, to do so, go to www.youtube.com forward slash Video Some Frontier. Or if you're having trouble kind of spelling that name, please wait for the credits where the URL will follow. Thank you for watching. Thank you.